Hey everyone, avoid the void here. If you didn't recognize that structure up there, that is the Astrodome. It's been closed now for quite a while. Today, April 9th, 2015, is actually the 50th anniversary of opening day. And they decided to open it up to the public just for fun, just for a quick little walkthrough. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Here at the 50th anniversary of the Astrodome, going in now. I can already smell the mold and mildew. Look, it's Courtney and Kyle. Kyle and Court misses it does, the boy. It, it smells a little, a little old. A little old. <laughs> well, it is 50 years old today. I'm in the spirit, of course, got my Astros jersey on. And here's all the people exiting. They've already been in there. So I'm guessing it's sort of a go in. There are steps. Go in, circular kind of exit out the way you came type of deal here. Astrodome, of course, the former home of the Houston Astros and the Houston Oilers. Before they, of course, became the Tennessee Oilers and Tennessee Titans. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, most of this video vlog is going to be me just showing a lot of things. I'm not actually going to talk a whole lot, although I probably will because I kind of just, I do that. But most I'm just going to be showing things because I'm going to be soaking it in personally. And you can soak it in with me. Here we go. Oh man, look at that. Last time I was in here was actually for WrestleMania. I'm gonna get out of the way here. It was actually for WrestleMania 17 in 2001. That's the last time I was actually in this building. Money, money. Okay. You gotta wonder. This is green. Is this actual, authentic AstroTurf? Or is it just green carpet? Of course, what's the difference? You know, it's AstroTurf, but it's just, you know, it's it's one that they've run roll for this specific thing. You so know, this is used, an actual they piece? Used, they used to use the turf as carpet. I mean, when we did our graduation, we walked on AstroTurf. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty awesome. So this was actual turf used for various events here at the dome. Now, of course, when it originally opened, the entire roof was clear because they did have natural grass in here for a little bit. Maybe it was only one year, maybe two, but that didn't quite work out. Um, that did not quite work out. So they had invented this green carpet known today as AstroTurf. Now, this little panel up here is actually painted because the outfielders during the Astros games would complain that the um, that they couldn't see the ball when it pops up into outfield into the outfield so they painted this panel dark so they could see the ball better Nostalgic for me, definitely. Who's idea was that? This guy right here. Oh, I'm being called. Hold on. Oh, it is Orbit. Orbit there.
you gotta wonder if that costume has been locked up in here as long as it's been closed. It did look a little dingy. Kinda wish they would fire up the scoreboard. Yeah, right? If it's even still I in here. I believe I'm winning. I'm sure all the like, those like I don't recognize. I wouldn't mind a number. I believe there's the press box up there. Is that the press box? Yep. Okay. There's a press box. Oh, well, there's two of them, I guess. There's because there's one behind home plate, one out there behind out the outfield. Lots of people taking photographs, getting little mementos. Definitely smells a mildewy in here, for sure. Like the best thing I can equate it to is when you when you unroll a tent you haven't unrolled in a while and like a tent you might have rolled up when it was wet and then you unroll it and it kind of has that mildewy smell that's basically what it smells like in here it's not like overpowering or anything i think they've been airing it out for a little while preparing for this day oh here we go now we're getting into the middle and it definitely yeah the smell picks up here in the middle for sure I think, was she telling me to shut up? I am talking a lot. All of these Astrodome seats, of course. I think we've got a little video playing over here about some of the history of it. A little historical video going on. And as I had previously surmised, they are pretty much directing people to exit promptly very shortly after coming in. I have to say, the Nolan Ryan jersey that I'm wearing, not necessarily this jersey, but definitely he's the most popular person on a jersey I've seen here today. It just stands to reason, I suppose. Try not to get in the way of a whole lot of people's pictures. Anyway, that's basically going to do it for me. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at the inside of the Astrodome while I'm in here. So now you've seen it with me. That's going to do it for me. If you like videos about cool places that Mrs. The Boyd and I go to, please subscribe. I also do videos that are related to gaming, like unboxings, things like that. Food reviews I also do. Mm -hmm. To me, that sounds like fun. Give me a subscribe. Also, you can find me on all the social networks, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Most importantly, though, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.